What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about the top five squeeze stocks to add to your watch list for this upcoming week. So I'm going to go over all that, but first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that said, let's get right to it. So starting off with this upcoming week, you have the dreaded CPI. Once again, I feel like it just came out like last week, but April the 10th, uh, that definitely is going to be a roller coaster. So we'll just have to wait and see what does come from that. Similar to last week, you do have a lot of Fed speakers and plus you have the FOMC meeting minutes and that is coming out on Wednesday. So Wednesday is going to be a crazy day and then PPI on Thursday. So let me know your thoughts on that uh, tentatively about CPI. Do you think that this is going to be positive, negative? Powell recently did say that they're going to be watching the data very closely closely to determine if they're going to be rate cuts or whatever else. Of course, CPI isn't going to be one of those ones that they look at. It's PCE, but still the market is going to take what Powell said and CPI merge it together and have some craziness. So if CPI is positive, then you are going to see a nice continuation of a run as well as when it comes to this week bank earnings so the dreaded bank earnings so they're going to be kicking it off um so i think in reality this is going to be one very interesting week um whether it be positive or negative going into this week though you do see the fear and greed index at 61 so still somewhat holding up uh, despite the volatility that's been happening despite what's been coming out from the feds like people's appetite for risk is still there so i think that could really help a lot of the stocks but getting right into it stock number five based off of the short interest percentage is bolero ticker is b-o-w-l on friday it went up 1.97 percent over this last one year it is down 15.04 2024 down 5.08 this is what they do i have brought them up quite a lot in previous videos on these lists. And so it is a very heavily retail presence stock, if that kind of makes sense. So yeah, I think all in all, a lot of people really want this to go up. In the past, it has really flexed its strength. So it has shown its ability to go up. Just, um, I think right now it's just kind of stuck in limbo. Technicals behind the scenes are looking somewhat optimistic though. Um, but moving on though, looking at some of the data points, 72.91% of the free float is being shorted. That works out to be 15.77 million shares overall are being shorted. Short score, so the higher the number, the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening, is 86.09. Utilization is 86.34, and cost to borrow average is 14.11. Through interactive broker, short availability does indicate around 45,000 shares is available. I do say this every single video only because. You never know, there might be some new individuals watching, but I do vet a lot of these companies to ensure that they haven't done a recent reverse stock split. Um, because of course, if a company does a reverse stock split, it typically does skew the Ortex numbers. So again, I've vetted a lot of these companies. On a side note, if you're looking to be a better investor in 2024, take a look at Seeking Alpha Premium. I do have a seven day free trial for you in the description below. So highly suggest in taking advantage of that because it does have a lot of good information, recent press releases, SEC filings, transcripts from fireside chats, earnings, and like everything that you ever do need to kind of become a better investor. So again, highly suggest in taking advantage of that. So Bolero is stock number five. Moving on to stock number four, this one is a new one, has never been on this list before. Tickers A-T-E-R, Aterian, if I'm saying that right. On Friday, it went up 2.83%. This is what they do, so you can always pause it and read through it. So, so household appliances, uh, seasonality for April it seems to be a very good month so again you can kind of take that into consideration clearly it's correlated with their earnings in 2020 and 2022 but historically goes up 57 percent so this one might be a very interesting play to watch for and over this one year it is down 73.57 percent 2024 hasn't really been its friend down 39.26 so I think all in all very interesting stock but it is on this list because of this information so 72.71 percent of the free float is being shorted that works out to be 4.24 million shares overall are being shorted so a very low float stock somewhat utilization is 54.95 and then short score is 78.16 the only reason why short score is so low is probably because of the cost of borrow so cost of borrow average is 3.6 so it is relatively kind of low for that and just to give you a good overview through interactive brokers it does indicate around 150,000 shares is available to be shorted so somewhat overextended in my opinion moving on to good old stock number three another very popular stock among retail and that is b riley financial tickers r-i-l-y 
Friday, it did go up 1.17%. This is what they do. So again, pause it and read through it. Seasonality, April seems to be somewhat flat, but April throughout the rest of the year seems to be doing historically fairly well. And no doubtably, as a result of bank earnings, you could see a lot of volatility with B. Riley Financial as well. But moving on, 75.11% of the free flow is being shorted. That works out to be 12.16 million shares. Utilization is 100%. Short score is 90 93.06 and then cost of our average is 140.34%. So very interesting stuff. You can kind of see, I'll get rid of all this unnecessary stuff. So you can see shorts have been doubling the hell down for a while, ever since November. So November short interest was about 28.11%. And so since then it has just gone very parabolic in a negative way, of course. Moving on to stock number two, another new one, tickers EURN. And that is Euronav on Friday went up 1.25%. Over this last one year, it is up slightly 0.77%. 2024 down 3.47%. So kind of interesting. Um, it's been very stagnant for a very long time. This is what they do. So pause it and read through it. It is based out of Belgium. So take that into consideration. Seasonality, April seems to be doing fairly good. So over this last 10 years, it does yield a 1.7%. So pretty good stuff for that. 75.81% of the free flow is being shorted. That works out to be 3.32 million shares overall are being shorted. Utilization is 75.35 and short score is 69.66. Again, reason why short score is probably relatively low is because of the cost of borrow. So take that into consideration. So this one's a new one to add. Uh, it's been kind of came out of left field. Aside from that stock number one, this one has been on this list quite a few times. It was struggling on Friday. So it went down 6.67% and that is Sun Power Corporation tickers SPWR. This is what they do. So you can once again read through that electrical components and equipment seasonality. April seems to be doing somewhat okay. So 2.2%, but right here, 78.6% of the free float is being shorted. So this is the highest short interest stock going into next week. Again, a lot of volatility could come uh, as a result of many of the data points, Fed speakers, or bank earnings. So this could be a crazy roller coaster. Very much work in favor of a lot of these stocks, or maybe negatively kind of impact them. But 86,000 shares were returned on Friday. 40.66 million shares overall are being shorted, and that works out to be 116.13 million dollars. Utilization is 88.97. Short score is 80.76, and then. Cost of borrow average is 6.49%. So pretty interesting stuff if you ask me. So let me know your thoughts on these top five stocks. Is there any other stocks that you feel is going to have a squeeze? I know of the companies unveiling their earnings, you do have Tilray first thing in the morning. That one is somewhat heavily shorted. So that one could, you never know, have a squeeze. That would be very interesting. But I think everyone is going to be eyeing bank earnings. And plus, aside from that CPI. So Wednesday going forward is going to be a very interesting week. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Hopefully everyone's having an amazing weekend thus far. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And one final thing, make sure you guys take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account with Moomoo, throw $100 at it, and they do give you seven fractional shares of the Meg 7. So it does have a total value around $35. So that's a pretty good return on investment just for throwing $100 at a new account. So take advantage of this link in the description below and also the comments with all that. Appreciate all of you watching. Thank you.